no romance. Got my baby and she right, she make you vanish. No time to play, got book dates. Had a plan, only had to wait. Always knew I'd make a way. Send a bill, they send a pay. Keep it real, keep the record straight. Keep it real, no time to fake. Authentic in my own lane. I am me till I'm in the grave. Trey said I got style for you. Ain't seen you at the top, it's been a while for you. Big you up and they look down on you. Take one lost, no one's around for you. I won't stop. No, 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 no. I won't stop, I won't stop I won't stop, no, 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 no I won't stop, I won't stop Ooh, never panic Get a worry, send it up and then it vanish Ooh, I can't stand it At all the way you move and see you scrambling On offense, no defense Still strong, no weakness strong. Used to say I wouldn't beat this Now they wish they could beat this Table setting, not tables turn you know God's plan, don't say a word you know, know the price, cause I know my worth My time, get what I deserve Trey said I got style for you Ain't seen you at the top, it's been a while for you Big you up and they look down on you Take one loss, no one's around for you I won't stop No, 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 no I won't stop, I won't stop I won't stop, no, 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 no I won't stop Good evening, guys. I know we're going to start a little early here because I'm not going to play right away. I've got I got a little setup here to do a trackball for you guys. I got a brand new ball from Justin Townsend. This is uh, going to be my new word of mouth ball. I'm trying to put this in the camera view a little better. It's hard to do backwards, guys. And without Richard available tonight, holiday stuff, I'm just doing this on my own. But it's got a great Bulls logo on it. It's got the word of mouth logo. Uh, but we're gonna go through, so happy holidays. Hope everybody had a wonderful Thanksgiving. It's Black Friday, not interested this year. I don't wanna be out and about amongst people. We're gonna just play some tea tonight, and try to take Tim Glenn down. He's been kicking ass. It's a really good score, three better in there. So I need to put at least one three better. But let's go through this. I, you might be not be able to see, if this doesn't work out real well, I'm gonna do another video at some point. But let me go through all the equipment that I've got here. It doesn't take much. Tools that I need, the only things I need to do a trackball, Phillips head screwdriver, real simple. And I just grab a pair of pliers. This is really useful to have for the flywheels on the side to get them off of a, of a roller. Those ones can have screws that are tiny Phillips headed head. I had a couple that were little tiny hex security bits on it. And then these ones happen to just be what they normally are now. But, so we've got our flywheels here. These little guys, we're gonna to wanna to make sure we inspect these bad boys. Make sure that they're not bent too bad and that there's no spots missing in between because light goes through these little wheels. And when the light goes through the wheels, that's gonna tell you how your miles per hour are. 
So we got two of those, one for each of them. I've got three rollers. Now, these ones already have a groove started on them, which is great for me. They're not brand new. I don't need new, new rollers, but these are the rollers that I've got. You're gonna have two of the extended ones that you're gonna put a bearing on and then the flywheel on the side, and then one for the guide wheel. Bearings there. We've got the optical boards, the little red boards that we talk about. If you look closely enough at this, and I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see, but we'll get another camera view up for this that's a little better at some point, and I'll redo this again. But there's a little black part here the flywheel sits in the middle of that and rolls through. If you ever hear that that's rubbing on it, then you need to get a new flywheel. This is gonna be pretty sturdy and you'll see how it goes together, together when it plans. Now, there's a little optical reading through here that the light reads through the sensors. So I'm gonna make sure that that's cleaned out too. Two of those boards, two flywheels, six bearings. I've got a bottle of just 99% isopropyl alcohol. And then I have my housing. All you really need to do in the housing, make sure it's somewhat clean. It's going to get dirty. Skin cells, dust, dirt, what have you. Trackball doesn't touch many things in here, though. It really only sits on the rollers, so that's all that really needs to be perfectly clean. The thing that you're going to make sure is that on the flywheel, the copper tape sits and makes contact with the bearings. You want to be able to bleed off any static electricity that goes through on that trackball. If you don't do that, you can have problems with readings. Things can short out the optic boards. Uh, and you can have all sorts of problems. It is a redundant factor because the machine itself should be grounded as well too. But man, I want everything to have... <laughs> There's Tim Glenn. Well played, sir. Keep up the good shooting, man. I like having some competition. I've got my two lubricants here that I use. Now, for the last ball, when I replaced the bearings, I used, it's called Spin Free High Speed Micro Ball Bearing Oil. We got that bad boy right here. That's upside down to you. It's not upside down to me. And I'll get you guys more of that. I'll show you that. And then just a simple silicone spray lubricant. Now, I like the silicone spray lubricant. It seems to be a lot slicker. Uh, it makes the bearings a little bit slicker. Sp they spin a little bit better. It doesn't last as long, and it has been prone to give me a little bit of noise after some time, but if I take it apart, respray them, let it sit, make it sure not to get anything on the rollers so that the ball doesn't get anything on it. But we're gonna make sure we don't do that right now. So the first thing I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna give everything a once over with just some paper towels, sprayed with a little bit of the alcohol, and we'll move on from there. So got some alcohol, bam. We're gonna go, bearings are good, I just did those. We're gonna get each of the rollers and just make sure they're clean. They'll dry by the time that we get this done too. And it's alcohol, it evaporates. It doesn't really have to be that dry. Here, let's get you a little better lighting. It's gonna make me look ugly, but it might help you guys see what I'm doing on the board a little bit better. So we're just giving that a clean. These have been cleaned. I already did this, but we're doing it again just for show. Bam, bam, bam. All right, those are done. I'm gonna give the inside of the casing a little bit of a once over. This has been sitting in a box for a while. So we're just gonna give it, get it cleaned out a bit. Make sure that the, the copper tape is touching. I don't ever wanna remove that. And if you guys do read somewhere that someone says to remove it, they're wrong. It may not cause you any problems, right? But I call it in case shit happens kind of thing. And, and we want to make sure in case shit happens that your big investment is protected, right? Hi, Kara. How you doing? Lucky girl getting to go over to Puffs. That's amazing. We love you, sweetie. Hope all's well. I haven't seen anything in our WhatsApp group, so I hope your dating life is doing very well. All right, so we got that all cleaned out. I'm gonna do this too. I'm gonna to fold the towel up really good and just go right down the middle of the red boards. Be careful your towel isn't fluffing off and you leave any goofy uh, micro shit in there like off of the towel. I already did this before you guys were on so I'm just doing it again for show. All right, so those are good. So now we're just gonna put it together. So grab the long, the long roller, pop a bearing on it, flywheel, on here. You don't have to make sure that this is going to be snug and that the flywheel doesn't move around. 
So that's on there, right? But right and right now, hand, I can't hardly move that. That's all it needs to be, but we're gonna give it a little twist. I'm gonna grab it with the pliers just because that's what I had available. You could probably find a socket that fits just that. I didn't need to dig through all of that together. Another bearing, put it on top, pop it through. Flywheel, tightening it down. Now this is one thing that I will break sometimes while I'm making track balls. If I happen to drop this onto the floor, this will crack. Flat wheels are cheap, but they're hard to find sometimes. I got hundreds of them sitting here from taking apart old track balls. I packed rat, I save them all, got them all. So now that's good. Now see, I almost did it right there and knocked it off. So that's set there. We're gonna throw the other bearing on the other side. We're gonna make sure that the copper tape is making connection. Pop it in there. All right, we got copper tape, we're good there. That's good. Next one, bam, pop the other bearing on, drop it down, and we are good. That one's making contact too. We are good. Now this ball here, this casing, the copper tape was a little loose, but it's so loose, it's so small on there that it can't cause a bunch of anything up. I'm not worried about it. Uh, if you have the means to, you can easily go to a hardware store. I know that Chad Miller, when it grabbed, used it in aluminum tape instead of a copper one. It's fine. It's conductive. You can make it fucking bleed electricity off. That's all we're doing. Now we'll get the last roller on there. I'm just feeling the roller to make sure there's no real big imperfections. Most of it will get, if there is a little bump or something, it will wear off in time. But we're going to pop the bearings on. And we're going to put it right here. So now we got the basis of our trackball. Now, red boards, it's a simple plug connection. All I wanna do here with the boards, make sure there's no visible corrosion on the pins at all. Uh, well, CJ, I, I went through this a little bit, but with with, uh, with any trackball, trackballs are imperfect. So when you put down the imperfect thing on something that's been using a different trackball on it, it's gonna take some time for it to break in. Uh, when I first started with that, when I first put in the test ball that he sent, it was noticeably noisier and got smoother over time just because the rollers that I had on there were broken into a different ball that has just a slightly different shape. It will get better over time. And I'll tell you this right now, it's not the markings on the ball doing it, it's the track ball itself. They're imperfect pieces, but they, they're fine. It'll play perfect. You'll find that right now. All right, so no imperfections. We're going to plug this bad boy in. You can't plug it in wrong. But it, it, you'll see there's a shape board to snap onto. We got it there. That's going to rest in this little groove here. And what you're going to notice is it doesn't, it kind of wiggles around in there, but that's what you want once you collapse the ball together on top. Do that on both sides. Those are in. That's snug. Make sure, and this is one thing I'll do sometimes, I'll sometimes miss the spot. I'll miss the four pins, and it'll be three pins and sitting off the edge. That won't work. So we get that back over the top there. So we got that there. We wanna make sure that the wheel can spin freely before collapsing it. Perfect. And the other side will do the same, but perfect. Put the ball in. And when we close this, right? One thing, they are zip tied together now. You don't have to leave them zip tied. It's really nice if you got a lot in a box and they're zip tied together because then I can't uh, lose pieces to it. But when they're zip tied together, be careful shutting the track ball. The four leads that are going to each of the uh, sides, power, there's a power reading, a ground, and then uh, a, a nothing wire in there. I'm not that electronically inclined. I know basics, but somebody would be able to tell you. Make sure you don't pinch the wire. If you expose that wire, you're just leaving yourself up for problems and you could short the I.O. board real quick. So right there, I was shutting that. And notice I almost collapsed it onto the actual cords down there. Don't do that. So now we get it shut. It will snap into place. We want to make sure there's a little play on each of the red boards and that they're in the groove and not sitting out of it. And now we're good. So I've got crap, four screws here. We go to the ones without the copper tape on it because I leave the leads connected inside of the machine with two screws there. So when I replace it, it's really easy. I don't have to take off the leads. Those are, they come with every trackball that you buy. You don't have to replace it. Just undo the screw with it on there, leave it there. 
then it takes less tools to do a trackball. We're going to tighten these down. These ones can be tightened fully, right? Good, full. Now, most of the time I'll use a power tool, but you'll see if you use a power tool to do this and you don't set the torque in the right place, you will strip the screws out. And the, one of the trackball screws that I have that plugs the deck into the deck is stripped out. But the great thing is there, you're only, you really only need to tighten that until the lock washer compresses, and we'll show you that in a second. Okay, so we got the four screws and track balls together. Yeah, you hear that? This is a brand new ball. This one's not making hardly any noise whatsoever, so that's good. I'm gonna give it a once over on the top just for, just to make it, make sure it looks pretty to me. Not gonna affect any play stuff, but this one was in a box for a bit, so I'm just gonna make sure this gets cleaned off the sides. All right, good. Now we're gonna move all this junk out of the way and we're gonna go into the deck. You hear people talking about that, oh, I, cheat, I messed with the trackball and now it's not working. Well, that's because they didn't unplug the trackball first, so the first thing we're gonna do is it. Well, that's interesting. I have not touched a daily in some time and I was going to this weekend, but I just ran out of time. Perfect. All right, let's get this camera pointed into the deck a little more. And we'll zoom in. All right, so we open the deck. First thing we do, unplug the trackball, right? We don't want to be doing work inside of the housing with the trackball plugged in. Can we see where we're at? Let's zoom out. Yeah, this is gonna be ugly to see, but it's okay. We got most of the stuff done. Plug right here on the trackball. Now, you guys with newer machines, that plug is tough to get. There's little pins on the side and you can pop them up a bit. This one here, I've worn them off pretty good. Mike, almost never. I only clean stuff in case I see it going, in case I hear things funny or things like that, if it sounds bad. Phillips head screwdriver. We're just gonna get these undone. Once you get them loose, it's just undoing it with fingers. Loose. This one's, oh, no, that's not the stripped out one. Yeah, this, this screw here, it's totally stripped out. Like, but since it's only finger tightened, it comes off still. Now we're gonna just completely get the rest of that out. Trackball's unplugged. I'm not worried about anything touching IO boards or anything. Ooh. I hope a lot of you guys are watching while you're playing at the bar. All right. I then just set it down on the table right here. You guys might have different looking machines than I do all different designs over the years, or you could have had it put together yourself. But I'm undoing the two with the leads on it going up to the metal plate underneath the deck housing. All right, so that's out. Old trackball out, we toss that off to the side. New trackball, making sure we get the leads with the copper tape on them plugged in. We're going to tightening here now, and we'll just screw those back in. Once again, these should be totally tight. You can't do anything wrong for over tightening these. This won't matter. One bit, doesn't change anything. Just make sure there is copper tape there though and it is making connection because obviously metal needs to touch metal in order for it to bleed off static electricity and you'll be set. Perfect. All right, so that's in. Now, if you got the same kind of deck as me, copper leads go into the 
if I'm looking down on it, it's going to be the left-hand corner closest to me. Bam. We get these bad boys back in here. We'll get them started. And we don't tighten these down too hard. This is where people get into the problem. If you tighten these down too much, you can compress the plastic too much and make the ball not move as well as it should. So we're just gonna go, there it is, one turn, compressed. That's good, that's it. Keep going, compressed. Same thing on all four of them. Compressed, and this one won't tighten any farther than compressed. Compressed, and that's it. Make sure then you plug the trackball back in and you will be A-OK -okay to go. Just don't open the trackball up. Don't make contact with anything but the plastic there and you're set. We put that back in. We kill that extra light because I look ugly with that thing on. And if you hear, you hear, we hear that little bit of noise, right? And that's just the new, the rollers getting the new different trackball on it and getting used to that. It will break itself in and get a lot smoother. And those bearings are going to loosen up too, I hope. Otherwise, I may have picked six, not my six favorite ones, but that will break down. But so that's it, guys. That's changing a trackball and rebuilding one. Uh, so save your old ones if you buy new ones. Because those pieces can be invaluable to you, especially, let's say, if you break something on one of them. It's great to have that extra stuff just lying around. Now let's see how good my thumbs are going to be today. They're going to be a little bit off, I bet. And let's get this camera back adjusted for you guys. If I had Richard available, I'm sure he would have done this camera work a lot better. My technique is very flawed. But there we go. We're packed. That was easy, right? It took us 15 minutes, if that. And that's going from start to finish. Now, typically, I will have built these balls ahead of time. I've been lazy, I've got parts and parts and parts, and haven't put it back together again. So we're all set with that. We're good, let's get down to business and play some events mode. I'm gonna probably be not great to start, because like I said, this ball's a bit stiff to begin with. It's gotta break in. We'll see how my thumbs are. I bet my thumb speeds are gonna be a little low to start, but it will get better as we move along. And I want some music tonight. I'm gonna go straight Taylor Swift again. It worked out very well last time if I find that headset somewhere sometime tonight. All right, we're in. We are on and music. Boom. Right at the top of the search history, Taylor Swift, perfect. Oh, done. <laughs> oh, that's good. I love that. I don't think I've ever met your wife or had the pleasure to. Let's get this a little closer. I'd say that's pretty good, lined up pretty well. It's not going to be good enough for Richard. He'll fix that later, I'm sure. All right, so... We're good. Let's go. Let's let's play a couple events modes. I got a couple of games. I'll use that as a warm up too. Hopefully, I can pop a big score right away. Oh well, hi Christine. Tim's a big fan of mine, so by proxy you are as well. Hopefully, hopefully you're allowed to come out to Vegas with him because I, I I honestly have no doubt he's already got the world's best from this week. I don't see anybody catching him. It's it's I don't find this to be a very hard event. The whole lots are a little bit challenging to come by sometimes. But when you do get them, it's not too bad to keep your games together. Oh, and I want to shut my deck. It's not necessary, but when that thing rattles on me, I feel it just feels weird when I hit the trackball. You notice when I'm shutting that deck, I have to push down a lot of weight on it. 
But that's because I put in a bigger foam rubber between the deck and the housing because I also didn't like when the deck was kind of bouncing back and forth. So this way, there's no play whatsoever. It's nice. I like it. But that's just me. That's me being that guy. Hey, Dan, how you doing? Well, that's him right below you here, dude. Tim Glenn is winning the event. He's from Canada, man. I'm, I'm proud of him. All right, we got a four. Yeah, we got. I don't like the four iron, but let's make sure I didn't get a different set of clubs. Nine and a half, ten and a half. So I'm going with my bag with the nine and a half. Otherwise, it's my standard bag. I could go to a three driver bag for the event, but as you can see, hole one will set up for a four iron quite a bit, and that's the thing that's missing from my three driver bag. And since we have part threes, fours, and fives. What are the ones that we're going to attack the most? The threes. We want to make sure we have clubs that cover all our gaps on our three. Well, hey, actually, we went straight and came off at 87. That's not bad. Yeah, that's it. Tim Glenn, he... Hey, if you don't know, guys, this isn't a no-namer coming out from anywhere. How many times have you been to Worlds, and did you get second place twice? Or was that Enzo? Enzo got second twice, didn't he? All right, we're going to have to get used to this. It's going to take some games, but that ball's playing. It feels really good. I gotta say, it's nice when you put the Taylor, Sh Taylor Swift station on on any of the channels, because she's got enough music that it like plays all her music and doesn't have to play things that sound like her. Okay, so that's me. I did not hit that good. It's a little stiffer, and I'm going to have to get used to it, but it'll break in pretty quick. Otherwise, I'll take it apart and put different bearings in. But that's the thing that I'm talking about. That was me actually missing the ball. That wasn't anything with the track wall. Plus, guys, I haven't touched the track ball in a couple days. This is the first time. I was touching it, cleaning it. I didn't get to play on it yet, though. So we're just getting warmed up. So let's not waste a tee. Let's see if we got directions. Oh, God, my thumbs are weak as shit right now, too. God, it feels smooth though. Okay. Yeah, so he's not just coming out of the blue, guys. He's a longtime player. He, he, I'm hoping Christine lets him go to Dallas, but I don't know. I don't know. The man said there's going to be family problems if he goes. That's a smooth shot, red 120. I'm okay with that. All right, so this hole is a lot different than it used to be. I would have been looking at, back when this course was live, going out here and trying to hit like a two iron there, or even a two iron through these trees. <laughs> but we've got nine woods now, and nine woods go high. Nine would go high. I tried, Tim. I tried. You said she was watching. I tried. Our plan didn't work, though. Yeah. All right, all right. Well, is it? I mean, have we started seeing a lot of it yet? I saw it. Wasn't that a South Africa thing? I saw a little bit today. I didn't really see much, though. All right, good. We can see how our short shipping is. Butter. Now I would have DNF this game by now. It doesn't matter. I've got, I've got two betters and one betters up out of my five games. So these games, if I'm not, if I'm not clean, instantly I'm not clean. I'm quitting. All 
Oh my god. Well, luckily right now the song on is an off-the-wall Taylor Swift song that I don't know all the words to. All right, we got that up to 90 with no issues. I, this poll's going to be good, I think. I might not be, but who knows. This has been probably my most holdout hole on this event. I don't know how it's this one. We're going to play this pretty hard, and we're going to hit the trees. And I'm actually going to go up to a five, because I don't want to fly the tree. But if you look, we want to go to the left edge of all of that bunch of trees. So this is actually a weird, ooh. Well, I love Enzo and Tim too much, so we can instantly kill William Shatner. I don't know him. He'll be missed. God. And, and I'm going to say that fucking dudes with bald heads makes me feel like kind of weird. Like I need something to grab onto. So Tim, Tim's going to be my fuck. I'll have to marry Enzo and then we'll kill William Shatner. Caught the branch, got through. Well, oh, you too, right? Well, Rusty, God, I want to say Rocco. I hate it. I hate your six names. Rusty. I love you guys, though, but I hate your six names. <laughs> that wasn't a very good effort, but it doesn't really matter where you put this as long as you don't have a tree line in your way, and I think we're good. My lover. <laughs> If I thought about that longer, I'd probably marry Tim Glenn. Uh, because then I get to fuck him every time. But hey, whatever. I, I mean, we're assuming that fuck, marry, kill is no killing. You don't get to fuck the, you don't get, you only get to fuck the one person once and only have to fuck him once. Marriage, apparently from Jill, is she'll marry somebody but won't fuck him. That's how Jill thinks of it. So we got... Be this close forever and ever. There you go, Caesar. Well, and with the new ball, you don't have much power problems with the new trackball at all. What you will have problems with is finessing it because your directionals, it's it's a sharper point. Yeah, okay. Okay. I've just tested all my different shots just to see how they're playing. It's coming back a little bit, but I just, it's not. I never shave it completely. I just take off. I just go down with a razor and just bring it down a shirt. I can kind of answer that for you, uh, Dan. He does play. They have one of his batting games. I don't know how much he's playing, but he does. Oh, can we always be this close? All right, so we're going to shoot a two off here, but we're using it as a warm up. Now, a lot back in the day, you could either go up the fairway to the right hand side. But I always preferred to be to the left and go to the left of the silo on the second shot. And we'll show you what I mean coming up here. I really want to be in the fairway, though, so don't lay off of it too much. So I want to go to the left of whatever that silo is. That's exactly right, Tim. We've gotten the same mentality on this. I don't want to have to travel to the bar. I hate it. I don't want to travel. I don't think we've gotten an exact date yet. Uh, to my understanding, though, the last thing that I had heard and was communicated was that they're going to plan on being out just before Worlds. So uh, end of January, beginning of February. I haven't heard anything else, though. So we'll have to see. We will have to see.
I mean, Gino, did you get any new info? And I mean, it very well could be right after. And hey, Eric, how you doing? It could very well be right after Worlds or in that period. But I, I mean, I had seriously thought that they were going to release it right at Worlds. No, the Worlds will not be on new PGA machines. That I can tell you for certain. Uh, and the reason why is, and which is why I, I'm kind of extrapolating a little data here, is that they didn't want the fact that some people might have PGA machines already by Worlds to have an advantage over those that don't. I, and, and well, it's the same exact game. It is a different feel. The machines are different. A little bit different textures, different button lineups. I don't know if you're going to be able to still do the things like look up because we are going to be missing a button. So we'll have start, we'll have options, but help isn't there. So this view won't be there as a standalone button. Uh oh, we got a we got a trackball ready for holdouts, and that makes sense. I like it. I would have said I personally would have said screw those people. I'm putting the worlds on my latest and greatest equipment because I want to use it to market. But the plan is to have a bigger worlds next year, focused on it with the PGA sponsorship, with everything in it, and and have a lot of goodies behind it. So we'll have to see where it goes. Moistureness. Oh, I feel that might be a word that uh, Zoolander would say. I haven't looked at commercial yet. Let's take a look and see what the leaderboards are at now. All right, so McCook's tied with Tim with 159. Jaeger's going to get his spot. It looks like Justin Clark's going to. Guys, I don't, I mean, it's looking like what the prediction of 155 might hold up. All right, that one I laid into a little bit. We got it up to max speed, no problem. All right, we're happy with this. <laughs> well, here, let's do her a favor then. Let's let's get a let's get a let's see if the wife gets my message. Otherwise, we're going to have... Oh! Yeah, that's looking pretty good, man. Wait, Eric, what's it? Are you... At, are, you're Luckbox. Yeah, that's right. You are Luckbox. Okay. I, I, I'm thinking that's pretty good. Now, you're going to get some pushes at the end here. But let's be honest, guys. Two betters are not easy. Shh. Harley, don't tell anybody. All right, we got a right three. This is going to be kind of trickling towards the hole a bit. So I'm going to play this right three to play as a right three. So this is going to move a bit. That's why I'm moving this all the way to the left. Oh, you're you're in good shape then. See how much that played? I Because I hit it soft. If I had played that a little bit harder and got that up to 80, as much as it would have been burning past the hole, it wouldn't have been too hot to, to not go in but it would have had a chance to not have that three play as much. So that's one of the things you've got to look at when you're having your shots to approach. Like that break, if you're not going in hot at it, it's going to play more. It's why you'll see me a lot of the time. Yeah, that was a great win, Rick. That was embarrassing. That, that's a game I almost would have rather lost. Come on, ball. Whoa. All right, this is beautiful. So when you have a full, when it's at the full distance, like you're at the front of the green, when I say full distance, the longer part of this hole, the back of the green, it's gonna max out at like 250. This is perfect because I can just put this ball here and go right at this. I'm not gonna hit the trees. No, 
Honey, let me I hate this hole. I, I just hate it because the tee box is so small. Uh, I'm going to low tee this with release with the 8 iron just so I can try to get it to, to funnel up this without having to play behind the hole. I low teed it though, and I don't think that that tee box was big enough to fight the side wind. So I put it a click, it might have been, that was real close. Flying on the cold hard ground. Now the good thing to know here is that your six foot backspin clears this too, so I'm gonna go right for this. Ah, I didn't cut it enough. Well, I didn't hit it either. I think it's great to chip from here though. Anything. Now, a lot of times you have to put this on this path. It is better to go across into the rough and have a straight shot in on the second shot than to lay back up and be in the fairway. When you lay back up and you're in the fairway, you're looking at a 320 to 360 into the hole, depending on where the pin is. Ah! What did you, what, I, I, Caesar, you're losing me there. Ah! Yeah, I murdered that. Shit. Via Cajun? I have not. But now it's a DNF. There's no sense playing. Even if I make that shot, I get a par and I'm clean then. Oh, well. I don't care about clean. I haven't had Via Cajun, but that sounds fantastic, dude. Caesar, you might get hit here because this is like my favorite Taylor, Taylor Swift song. Come on. Tay-Tay. Favorite Tay-Tay right here. Did you not see me? Those words. Tell me how's your family? In a while. And really, all the machines are the same. Uh, minus some that you'll have settings where the video cards are pushing 720p. You got that stuff, but the play is the same on all the machines. Uh, and what we were talking about, Caesar, is the PGA machine compared to uh, the the commercial machines that we're on now. Uh, I haven't played much since I moved to Iowa. I used to play a bit. I, I, the times I would play would be before Golden Tee tournaments. And in case you don't know me, my problem would be that I overswing and I like to hit ball hard. Well, what, before a tournament, and since I don't play a lot of real golf, that ends up making me like have sore muscles and shit the next day. Oh, I don't have the power right now. That was easily there if I just hit it. I laid off of that. DNF. And this is what this event is. If you're chasing, you do a lot of this. It's, it wasn't smart for me to put a different track ball in though, right before the right before I'm coming down. It's gonna take me games to break this in. I haven't touched one since I think I had some uh, on Wednesday, but I've been trying to lay off of them as much as I can, Rick. I'm hurting though a little, I'm a little sore. You gave me roses and I left them here to die. This is me swallowing my pride, standing in front of you, saying I'm sorry for that night. There you go, Caesar. I got it. I got Taylor going for you. Turns out freedom ain't nothing but missing you, wishing I realized what I had when you were mine. Oh. I gotta tell you guys, the Taylor Swift Speak Now album is one of my favorite albums of all time. Now, we are going to take a breather from this in a little bit and go to invites. I got some that are going to be expiring soon. 
I've been pretty lazy and haven't gotten down here, so sorry if I made you guys uh, wait a bit too long. Very well, Caesar. All right, so now we got to talk. When that Caesar guy was at my house, guys, holy cow, I caught him trying to make out with my dog. It was really creepy, dude. Good thing he's muted us, right? All right, so let's let this one run. Now, this one's going to barely get to the hole if I thumb this right now. So it's going to play a pretty decent right three. Let's see. Is that going to be enough to fight that wind? Uh, this is a guessing game. Let's go. And it, it, it's just we're giving ourselves the best opportunity for it to go in. So now this is where I'm talking about when you have pretty fresh rollers on a trackball, hitting straight isn't nearly as bad. But when I try to hit slightly directional, since there's no groove, it's kind of, it's harder to make a point on a point do what you want it to do. And when I mean that, when the rollers are brand new, you have a smaller point that the ball is resting on. So if I try to aim a little bit left, it's gonna be even jumpier. And it's gonna feel like you don't have anything precise. <laughs> well, well, good. Maybe then I'll just have him pay Jill then for her appearance fee because she's not. Got, I'm not allowed to have ladies of the night. It, we discussed it. It was in the prenup. So like that. That one just didn't feel as good of a cut as I could have had. Because it, it's playing a little bit more and not as perfect. Now, as this breaks it in, it'll be fine. All right, we got eight. We got nine in the face. This is actually very helpful here because we when we high tee this shot, we don't get much backspin. But with the trajectory, <laughs> with the trajectory being that it's going to land flatter, <laughs> it's being that it's going to land flatter, not be moving forward and lands. I'm going to get a little bit of spin, and maybe the five will be pulled back. Yeah, I know. I have a tough life. It doesn't say anything about daytime, ladies of the night, though. But that's like a prime setup for that hole. All right. Uh, there's not really a good thumb shot at this, but we're going to try to thumb this. It's up four. Uh, I'm going to thumb it with roll. Give it a chance. And that one, you guys notice, I didn't use a T on it because that T box on this hole is so small. I would have never been able to fight a seven, so why not wait, save a T? Not murdering that one. I got to hit it. That chip ends up being so good. Ladies of the afternoon, they are not in the prenup. Hmm. But I don't think a prenup is a, a presupposition of murder, though. I think that that... I, I don't think that a murder gets stopped because you have a prenup. So I think I'll lay off. Not a big strip club guy, Rick. It, it just never made, like... It just never did it for me, you know? Like, it was like, what's the point of... Uh, what, what's the actual point of getting a stripper? We have so many ways in the world today to get hard that cost you nothing. This has got a chance, but i got to risk this going over the edge. Now, the thing that I'm looking at with this is to see where the angle the ball's going to come back with trying to play the left four and when it's coming back like this, if the pin was much closer to us, I wouldn't be able to thumb this shot. So now I'm just going to play it out there. I don't have any worry about the edge of the green because the pin was right past the turn. We're good. <laughs> mm. 
that's one you got to. I got to get that to go. That's that's a hole that's going to be a hole out hole for you a lot of the time. All right, so same thing here. Only this time I'm going to hit a three wood, right? The problem with hitting the three wood is I might not catch the branches, but if I don't catch the branches, it's low enough that my trajectory is not leading in the water anyway. But it's going to be backspin. If you look the straight line at the pin, though, I've got the tree trunks in my way. We want to avoid those at all costs. That would have been a tough hole out. I mean, that hole's always a tough hole out, let's be honest. I'm talking like it's an easy shot. It's not. you got to be precise, but it, it's, it's pretty good once you get the hang of it. This ball actually feels really good. I can't... Yeah, you guys hear that little wobble there? It's not bad, but that's just the ball being slightly different shaped as the ball that was in there before, on the on those rollers before. Waiting table, small town. Now, for me, dumbing down the distance is harder than moving the pin back a little bit, Mark, moving the tee back a little bit. And this is gonna do something else for me too. While that amount of movement back doesn't really change much, I don't have a lot of green to play with, right? Hold, please. Thank you. Why are you talking about strip clubs? <laughs> <laughs> I heard it through the vent. Oh, you didn't hear me and say I didn't. I don't like them. That's what I, said. I know you didn't hear. Oh, me you wrong. didn't. Read okay, the chat. okay. I was saying you didn't read the chat at all either. No. You right. might want to. It's filth. It's filth. It is filthy chat. Filth. All right, love you. All right, love you too, baby. All right. Oh, giddy up! <laughs> hi, Jeff. Hi, James. We missed you guys. I did a I did a wardrobe change just for Christine. Now, but going back to this, so we know that there's a spot on a miles per hour range that when you thumb it with no pullback, you're going to get more spin on it. I can't backspin this shot unless I land to it, because if you look, if you pull, you can't really see this, but if you pull this off the green, you have a chance that it trickles down into the, it trickles down into the bunker. I don't need to do that. So I'm going to back this up as far as I can. I get a little tiny bit of wind in my face, but I can now thumb this a little harder with bite and have a chance that I land next to the hole and I play the five break right. And I was just trying to get more spin with it. That was going to be a tough make. For the first time, you made a rebel of a careful man's careful daughter. Perfect. Now the five backspin will get over this. I'm not worried about it. For the first time. All right, pins on the front left. We're good. I'm going to bomb this up as far as I can. I'm a little worried on a new trackball that I get to whip this ball way out, but we're going to try it. And good thing I moved that back a little bit because that might have caught branches. String. I whiffed the ball. I whiffed. That was a whiff. Let's save this. And now we stop. There's no sense. A clean round does me no good. All right, we're going to give it one more chance. And then we're going to move over to some invites. I personally don't really feel like sitting banging tonight going after Tim. That's more of a weekend thing. But I don't see you guys on the weekends. That's ever been mine. Don't look back. Now, normally I won't thumb a club that's exactly the distance, but we know that this nine wood carries a little bit. So this is actually beautiful for this shot. It's going to come back pretty hot at the hole, so that left three isn't going to nearly play as much on the backswing. Hopefully that wind pushes it left to right enough. No. 
I like this. I mean, I could thumb this thing dead straight. It seems like every time. I'm not getting much weakness in my left arm today. So this is the shot that people are thinking isn't there. It's a tough shot. I'm not going to lie. But this hole is always drivable with stouts. If it wasn't stouts, some of the big winds in your face, you might have a problem. But if you watch this, this ball's going to kick up. No, I didn't. Ca I, I caught that better than 137. I don't, that's that's the C3s and A1s not being right. So now we quit. We'll play one more. I'm not calling a game that I quit on hole two a play. And you can see how this going for these passes can get really expensive for even good players. If you're playing three dollars a game or five dollars a game on commercial, yeah, I mean it might take you. You might DNF 30 games. That's quick quick work. That's 150 bucks. Luckily, the prize pool is pretty big for everything right now. God, I can't. I think this is already set up for me. They set that wind was perfect for it. Set me up beautifully. Uh, we got a better look here. Under 250, under 350. I'm going straight shot at this. High T three wood. I mean high T ten and a half most of the time. Sometimes I'll even hit this with a medium T nine and a half. And as much as I'd like to ace that hole, that's not a hole I'm playing for an ace on. Getting the Eagles is just very important. Now, Tim, does, does Christine hate me now that I put on the moist shirt? Was your guys turkey for, for Thanksgiving in October? Was that moist? Yeah, I'm just not getting my cuts right yet. And that's, like I said, breaking a ball in. And that's also the same kind of feel that you're going to have at Worlds or if you're going to Dallas. Guys, the balls, it's not going to be exactly the same because the way that you've played on your ball, different oil in your hands, different temperatures, different consistency. So you got to have a game that travels to do well in tournaments. Now, do we want to let this run? No way, any which way I look at it, that's too much wind to play going straight. So I'm kind of relegated to getting my aim right here. And do I have a better chance of backspinning this or letting it run? I'm going to let it run with some release. Just thought that wasn't a great setup for that hole for a par three. Even though it's an easy par three, it's harder to make in the setup that we had. Yeah, and I'm kind of whiffing the ball right now. I wonder if I got a little oil on my hands, but that's just me missing. So let's go to invites. I'm going to knock some of these out. It is a holiday weekend, so we're not going to keep you guys on all night tonight. We're going to play some games, and we're going to try to get out of here about 10 o'clock. I, I enjoy the pleasure of my wife's company. No, she's not a strip club or a, a lady of the evening or afternoon as we're going to. Oh, shit. Well, we're playing Juniper because I'm button happy. This I have a specific bag for. Uh, and what is this on? I must have switched it. I typically, when I played this course live, I it was the one course that I carried an eight wood on because, and I'll show you the hole, the eight wood was really useful. But not the nine wood goes just as far as the eight wood. Doesn't really matter that I have one. So I'm actually to my normal standard bag version with the nine and a half driver. No reason for the nine and a half specifically, except for the fact that I played it on this year's courses. I knew like I was in old card again. We got hole outs for days right now, guys. It's the moistness. All 
All right, we're going over the top. We're Sylvester Stallone. We're going to go with the six. I think the five would clear from here, too. But I'd rather hit a ball harder than have to lay off of one. Ah. Now, I played that like a right three because I was coming off a heavy rough and it was a shorter putt. And I almost missed it high side. Heavy rough's a tough one. To, it's a tough thing to finagle with because it backspins a little bit more and it plays better than what the distance shows on your overhead view. So I don't really necessarily know. I, I, it's one of those weird surfaces that you've always got to take it into account when you're using when you're playing on it. I didn't just do that. Wow, I got lucky. Heavy rough, though. If I murder this ball, I fly the green, without a doubt. Oh, fuck. We live in Wendy. Ah. I like this hole. Uh, you, a lot of the times we would have high teeth this shot. I think we're good right here. While the high tee might be safer, you have no control. You have to land it in the hole, basically. I don't want to do that. Uh, these, if you were in this classic six-man invitational, they would be in the same. You will have something totally different, though, if you're not. Uh, and also, I'm a few games. If you're talking about the events mode, commercial and home, they're the same holes, but the setups do not follow everything else. I think that was Rocco that said he actually tested it. I always said it in theory. I say it in theory, but no, they are different. You do not, it does not follow the same pattern. Like my first game on home edition is not the same setups as the first game on commercial. So this one, having the eight wood was better than the seven. Cause when, when you were in the box where the pin was on the far right, well, then we'd be at the strip club right now, Luke, and not hanging out with you guys. <laughs> I think even the wife would come then. <laughs> that would be a viable excuse to go to a strip club i think i don't think i could ever eat food in a strip club that just doesn't those two things don't go hand in hand and wings on a pg no no I would have to be there just to make sure, not even sit and play, but I'd have to sit there and make sure nobody was greasing up the track ball. This approach can be tricky. Be careful with this shot. If I snap them this, this could fly the green. All right, it's a, it's a decent, it's only a four out one, but this is true. <laughs> Hi, Brittany, how you doing? Happy Thanksgiving. I think we're looking at the winner of the Florida Open first female competition in Brittany when we when that happens. Uh, coming up in Orlando's next tournament. When is that, March? I'm actually a little scared to backspin this because this could trickle down. I'm going to drop down to the six and I'm going to bite it. I shouldn't get it to back up hardly at all, but it will back up some. 
And I take the risk out of it. God, with that line, I probably could have just thumbed the five in back spot. I agree, man. All right, we're going to come in right to left rather than left to right because I got a lot more green in a shorter spot if I come left to right. If I go from this angle, I mean, if I catch the straight line, it's probably the preferred angle. But this way, I got fat green to go over the whole time. Why am I whiffing the ball? I'm just not hitting the ball hard. Well, good. That's awesome. Yeah, I'll get those. I'm sure Richard already updated the dates of everything once he saw them. I have not. I don't. I'm not a planner, guys. I'm a fly by the seat of my pants kind of guy. Does anybody really care? I'm going to tell you right now, neither one of those teams are good enough to win a national championship. Ohio State, haven't we proved that the Big Ten is so overrated? It's unbelievable. Honestly, this year is kind of the definition of why I hate college football. I actually like the sport of football a lot. I mean, more than I should. But college football rankings drive me crazy. They do. It doesn't make any sense. One of the biggest issues that I... God damn, hit the ball, Mark. I'm going to miss this shot. We're going to put it. And that doesn't get to the hole. Smart. Well played. Of course. Uh oh, Caesar just sent his muscle after me. All right, where do we want to put this? Pins on the left. I'm going to keep it on the left. I want to be in the fairway here, but actually it doesn't really matter. Where that pin is, I actually, now I'm looking at it. I don't like where I've left this ball. Brittany, you have your guilty pleasure of Britney Spears, and I'm listening to mine. Ah! Oh. Uh, sexy. There is way too much sexy in that picture, guys. I'm get, I'm jamming to my guilty pleasure of some Tay Tay. I I think that they we looked we looked competitive enough with your team that we should probably he should get fired this week anyway. I'd be surprised if he makes it through the weekend. And I'm happy. I'd be I'm excited for it. I gave him a chance and I've realized that I was right all along. <laughs> yeah. I missed too many easy ones there. I had that thing in the bag. But I'm going to blame it on getting this track ball broken in. It does feel like a brand new ball to me right now. Middle of the night in my dreams. So now we get to the invites I've got to play. Somebody might get a freebie, basically. In the middle of the night. What do we got? <laughs> I think we used up all the yellow flags in that uh, Dallas and uh, LA game or Las Vegas game, sorry no, this is a part three we're going to have to I might have screwed myself I bet I don't finish this in time and it doesn't count it. 
But we're going par three back. This is a par three. If you ever saw him live, you'd say underrated. If you just listen to his catalog of music, you might think he's overrated. A lot of his music sounds very similar, but my God, I, I love Billy Joel. All right, I gotta see my thumbs aren't normally strong, but. Ah! Fucking hate this when the pin, I see this won't back up. I'm gonna hit this shot hard. The only way I was making it was with the five in my opinion. If I had a super spin four, maybe. <laughs> nope. All right, we're gonna go low T9. We're gonna hit this thumb with release. Wow. And every day. Cause I know I'll be living in vain Forever I don't like this setup I'm gonna thumb this. It's gonna hit the face of the hill though, but that's gonna be the way I can make it with this. Ah, I thumbed it too hard. Fuck. I wanted to bounce that off the front because I don't think if I landed that right over the edge, it wouldn't have been able to snap back enough. You'll see on, on the par threes, I use a lot of low tees. I want thumb shots. Every shot I want is a thumb shot. Really, that's it. I, in almost every instance of golden tee, I want a thumb shot. Oh, that's 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 Nagy. Nagy will. The Bears have never fired somebody mid-season, though, so. In their history. And we've had a lot of bad coaches over the years. I go crazy. I I think he's got another year. I actually kind of like where Detroit's going now for the first time in decades. Okay, so big example of that one, Luke. Rattlesnake Ridge was possibly my favorite Golden Tee course of all time when it was on the four platform or prior to whatever we want to call that. A Golden Tee 2K, if that's what it was. Um, and I don't like it at all now. I don't, it was a so much bigger test of skill than it is now. And it was test of skill where if you shot a 33, you're a monster. Now I think, now I like, I mean, people are, we put up 36s and shit on it now. It's not that great. I don't think he gets removed. I think that he quits. Otherwise, I would have gone with Urban Meyer as well. Oh, daddy got it. He is very voice. I like that. That felt good. And then, uh, 
they, uh, if there's a course, I, the course that I just hit the shot on, it's one of my favorite courses, holes one through 17. 18 is an absolute disaster of a hole though, and I can't stand it. There's so many little things wrong with it, and most of it has to do with the tiered green that make the other problems with it go into play and get totally overdone. Yeah, hole 18 of Jamaica. Ooh. Oh, God. I don't like this distance at all. That was safe. All right, two holes. We got to be clean. Got to stay clean. So I'm going to murder boner this ball and backspin it. It's I'm not worried about it going back in the water at all. <laughs> I don't know. If people interview players on the Bears and hear how he is, I don't think Matt Nagy is a coaching job next year. He's going to be a coordinator somewhere. I don't think he's a head coach. That would be interesting. I, I'm injured. Wow, these are these are big predictions. That's bold, Gino. I like it. I'll take the one better though. Where are you flying out of Sky Monkey? I can't remember if you're Washington or East Coast. All right, we got to play that Anse. I, haven't, I don't think I've played that this month. I don't think I've played Anse this month. But we're going to play that one too. Uh, but we got to get these. We got an hour. Here we go. We got to go. Ah, uh, no, the, Tim Glenn is a Canuck. He's winning the home edition contest right now. All right, so this is drivable. I don't think we can go straight at it. And I almost don't think the high tee's a good idea, but I'm going to high, eh? No, I'm not. That's not a good shot. My cuts are a bit off on the ball yet. They'll get there, but they're not there yet. Yeah, 32s are hard to come by. Perfect. Thumb. That's so weird. The four iron is so different than the four and five iron's thumbs are so short. I'll be banging on this. I'll be banging to pass him this weekend, though. And uh, I'll, this ball will break in nice. I can already tell it's gonna. It, those rollers are gonna play great. Fuck you. My cuts are just not sharp right now. That's it, it, and like I said, it's getting the groove built into the ball 
will make everything easier and more fine-tuned. As of right now, like it slides over the, the part I'm pulling to or it goes more than what I want it to. Thumb shots are very good for me though. Moist. Well, without Tim Glenn making it, I can't really call it a true world championship. So I'm rooting for him. Plus, if you guys have met him, he's just a sweetheart. Out of all the Canadians, I probably know him best. That would be exciting though, man. I can't wait till we get back to the point where it's a world's team versus a team USA. I think, I got a feeling they're gonna try to push towards that more next year. No, I like that one a lot. I didn't know Facebook had those awesome things. Well, you, I, after missing that putt, though, that hole out was nice, so I'm happy. All right, so this is an ugly hole, guys. I, I, the key here is you got to get it over the hump of the fairway on the right while going long enough to have a second shot. And I don't really think it's going to happen. <laughs> well, we did that just for, for Tim, Tim Glenn's wife. Tan! Give me a tan! Now, I'm backspitting this. Uh, I'm gonna, I think I hit the trees with bite, just to be certain, but... Oh, shit! I meant to hit the 9-iron there. <laughs> That's good. You gotta pay attention. My touch is a little off yet. So I guess the nine wood was not hitting that tree at all. Where's the gator? of time. And red underlined. Look what you made me do. All right, we're seeing, we've seen a lot of these holes today. Now see, that one missed the branches, which is it shouldn't have, but it did. And I can't make a putt. But this is the whole problem with new track balls, guys. It's not, it, the point, it's a, such a finer point because there's not as much of a groove built in. So it rolls, I mean, you're, it's really precise, but not the way you want it to be. Not 
you made me do. Oh. Almost never, Luke. I try to keep them in there for as long as possible. I just had the new ball. I got the new ball from Justin. One that we're going to keep in here for a while. It's got my Chicago Bulls logo on it. It's got the word of mouth logo on it. But at the only time I really ever need to change a trackball is once the rollers have gone too far and like I that groove is so deep. That's really the only time I'll ever change a ball. Otherwise, it's just swapping parts out. No, honestly, it's some people too. Like I hit, I hit down into the ball a lot more, so I notice a groove a lot quicker than a lot of people do with it. I don't know if that really matters or not. I, I mean, it's just a question of feel for me, and most of the time, balls feel pretty good. But I have opened up some track balls that started feeling bad and there was like rust on them and shit. And I don't mind that. If it got to that point where it's rusting, that ball had it served its purpose. Yeah, absolutely no certain time. I mean, I think a lot of people say about 10,000 games. What the fuck's going on here? Come on. There we go. All right, so we got a couple more of these short ones, and then I'll... One hour of horrible course. So boring. <laughs> they can do that, yeah. And... and I hate to say it, it's but I sometimes haven't uh, somebody playing after me with a little bit of greasy hands. My hands get real dry, and I dry out track balls. I'd rather have it be dry than greasy, but it almost helps the life of the ball. Like having somebody lube it up once I quit playing. And you guys have seen it too. There are some times where I've dried it out too much and I'll just grab a little bit of grease from my hair and just rub it in. But there's a point though, if it gets too greasy, it's not moving the rollers free enough. But those are all the type of things you got to think about while you're playing a tournament, because not everybody's going to have the same have the same consistency in their hands or yada yada yada. And machine might be a quarter of an inch higher than the one in your house. So there's a lot of little things that have to do with playing good at tournament. Ugh. All right, this should get on. And actually, if I catch this good, this has got a chance to go pretty pretty close. I almost caught it too good. Yeah, see, that was me trying to play a one break, but it slid over the it slid farther right than I wanted to. So it'll happen. And almost thumb putters have a little bit of an advantage on a new track ball, too. Is that enough? I don't think so.
There is a shot. You can get this to the green on through the trees. It's a crap shoot though. It's not a very consistent shot. Ah. And it's not worth trying. Pretty sure I'm playing putts in this invite, and I've been kind of kicking his ass a little on these older ones. But it, I'm sure it's going to change, and he's going to beat me like five, ten times in a row. I do like to eat. We'll have, yeah, I mean, I'm going to go out and eat somewhere. I don't know if I'm going to be going out, going out hard. I'm, I'm being a little bit more frugal right now. All right, so this is drivable. It's a question on, I need to go from this line to get it there. This spot will not cut enough to fight back. This will, it's a question on if I can get it around the tree from here. We're gonna try it. I'll probably go in long if I catch this right. And I caught the branch. Yeah, my cuts are a little bit off. Now, when I get to tournaments, my frugalness always goes away. It turns into, a, oh, I'm rich. <laughs> That's what happens when I see all you guys. But I'll have some more money after Sunday. Well, well we're gonna we're gonna do we're gonna do pretty good on both tournaments, I think. I'm due. I'm due. My God, listen to the Taylor Swift at 13. She was still fucking amazing. Jesus Christ. Okay, but this is starting to creep me out though. She's going out with a boy in this song and she's going out with a boy. She says she's 13, but the boy is driving her miles and miles away. 13-year-olds going out with 16-year-olds. That's a little creepy, right? Especially ones that can drive. But we do have to go out to eat somewhere because we don't have food at the bar. So we'll see if they... I bet the food trucks are going to be banging, though. That was a little lucky, but God, when I lay off a little bit, I'm getting way too much off that I want. This hole is another one they need to fix. I don't understand why. It's one of like the three or four par threes that are offset in the game. There's one on Indigo. There's the one on Castleshire. There's that one. And I, there's one other one I know of that I can't remember, but there's no reason for it. Especially after hearing the explanation of why they offset par fours or don't face you at the hole. All right, so we, this setup where that pin is, if I really want to hold the second one out, I need to make sure I stay on the fairway, but I also want to get past the tree line so that after the, you got the long bunker right to the right of my arrow. I, I want to go past the one past that in between the other two and hopefully stay in the fairway. No, nope. all right, it's fine from here, but I won't get any backspin. So I'm going to hit this and have it bounce up. 
Yeah, this is going to leave me a shitty putt because most likely I'm going to hit this hard enough. I'm going to hit the down slope of the hill. If I try to play this to hit the, the front slope of the hill, I might get stuck and knock it over. All right, good. That was just how I had to hit it, and that's as close as I could have been unless that one hopped in. And I always suck at this hole, too. Not good. Didn't cut it enough. We'll take it. We'll take it. 25s are fine on that course, guys. And, and that's the problem that the handicap system has to take into play. Because I shot five off my handicap, but I, I, I mean, that's actually a phenomenal round on that course. Oh, minus the water ball. I had to, I hold out twice. <laughs> It's clean. Could have had a 27 there. All right, we got enough time now. We got rid of those ones. I want to play this. I'd like to get these done right away. Never find, never find another like me. E -e. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm the only one of me. All right, can we bomb a drive? Let's see. We're gonna try to get this up to the rough for a chush, and we'll see how I can chush on the new ball. Oh, we got that way out. That's what we wanna do for this shot to get on. Can't spell awesome without me. So it's not as always important to catch it 148 and max that out. It, you'll get more distance if you get the C3 to be all the way out. Baby, that's the fun of you. Oh, shit, dude. Somebody's been for a beatdown right now. Whoever I'm playing in this invite, my God, I'm sorry. Sorry about doing it to you. Don't make them do them to him, Hammer. Don't hurt him. Oh! I promise that they'll never find another like me. Ah, e -e. oh, they give us an easy look here. And we played it super safe. Why risk the bunkers? I've already got two extra strokes here. Why risk going at that hole and, and possibly missing a little left, which gives me an impossible chip? It's okay. It's okay. It's just nice that you have people there playing with you. They make these little things. I got some here, and if you wanted some before you left, I would have given you a pair. But they're called they're, they're called headphones, I believe. I got extras. All right, we're gonna try to make this. This looks pretty good. That's a huge breaking. Uh, what hole is this? I don't remember this shot.
Fuck. I think I'm going to make a goal. I want, I'm going to have... I want to hit the hole-in-one side pot five times in Texas. Uh, I would love to. Dan, you just... Thank you. Oh, my God, dude. What did I just do? Was I not, like, really paying attention there? That wasn't a very smart shot. I think I just looked at that. This is the problem with not playing a lot of 2021. I got to start doing this more. I'll take a 15 on this front, though. That's never a bad thing. Okay, gotta get it down to the fairway or else the second shot is a bitch from up here. Get being in the rough on this second shot can be a problem. No good wind. We're going straight out here. I, I don't want it to help. Well, wow, that might line up. No, it's a little offset. This actually makes this shot harder. Nothing lasts forever. This is getting real now. I'm handsome as hell. I hate hitting the six here with a cut. I'm gonna jump. Uh, it's gotta be the six, though. Just in your wildest dream. So, Dan, apparently I'm not the only Taylor Swift fan. That's bad. Thank you for hitting fringe and not green there. Nothing lasts forever. Ugh. All right, we're gonna get a little kooky here. I wanted a 30 here. You remember me in a nice dress sitting at the sunset. Ouch. God, I don't like this shot. I, I should have hit the forward. I was right, but I was not going to leave this short on with a two better. Boom. Boom. All right, whoever I played there is probably not going to be too pleased. That's a tough one. That's going to be a tough score to beat. Your hot night turning it down.
All right, it is about 940. We're going to get a couple more of these. we got a couple more of these that I want to knock out. Ooh, all right. M more of me and Paul Putz Taylor. He's an, an auto accept inviter just like I am. So when we get these these ones that are to big groups of people, it's him and I seem to be playing each other 99% of the time. Even if it's just pretend. A course that you're not really a shooting clean on this course is generally a win. Hole outs are nice, but it's hard to play clean on this round. So that's going to be the focus more than trying to make sure we jam something in. It's not like a Baja or a hidden where in match play, I'm not, I'm looking at those like clean rounds don't win a lot of the time. That just changed two clubs when I went up to the five. But that's on me. I got to pay attention to that. Now, in the rain, I'm rolling this. I would never have rolled that shot unless it was raining. That would have been a naked thumb and let it run into the hole. Maybe even release... But in the rain, that ball plugs pretty quick, so I've got to pound it with roll. All right, so the rain, if I'm right, I didn't remember when it started, but it should be just moist. Nope, still raining. All right, I don't like this setup. It's not an easy look, but we just want to get on the green. And we did not. I can't believe I got it up and didn't hit the hill and was short. Weird. All right, 280, high five wood. And hit it. And now we got moisture, and from here on it, it's going to be dry the rest of the way. You'll never have a game where it starts raining and then stops raining and then starts again. It just doesn't happen. It's going to take a little bit of time getting used to the ball and getting it broken in. So those little touch shots are going to get a lot easier as this thing breaks down and gets a little better. I can't believe out of my box of parts, though, these rollers I had looked almost brand new. I don't know why I took them out of a ball ever. Actually, I think I do because that was it was in my box of track balls that I sent all the balls to Justin. So he had some extras laying around it, either test or send track balls out to people. And Ed Landon, if you're watching, I got something in the mail that I got to send you today. You will get that shortly here. I'll get out, I'll get out this weekend and get it shipped. Just a little present from a couple of us that we saw what you did for Corley. That was awesome, man. I do appreciate it. Now we just got to get you to come out so we can all meet you, man. Now we got bad blood. Yeah, no points. Not good, but they're not as important on this course. Hi, Q. I saw you streaming today. I, I didn't really get a chance to watch, but I saw your message. But who were you playing with? I didn't. I saw the name. I didn't recognize you.
All right, so this shot sucks. I'm gonna hit an A1. I need it to hang outside of it, so I'm gonna undercut the A. I'm gonna be inside of the A a little bit. Uh, we'll have some conversations, and you'll a lot of the the best learning comes loop. So we generally back when courses were releasing in September, we would have the NIV. Oh, 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 oh. got it, Scott Kelly. Now I got you. So, uh, but generally we'd have the tournament in uh, in Richmond right after the course is released. And it was generally a week or two after. So you'd learn a lot there. I'm more of a self self teacher guy. Like, I'm not, I'm not trying to toot, but I, I come up with shots that other people steal. It's always been that way. Um, there's a couple of times though that I end up needing to see it. One of the biggest ones for me that I didn't know existed because I think it was stupid and actually almost made me quit golden tea was a uh, Rydland and that shot that you went through the window. Uh, that because there was never a time in golden tea history where you played through an obstacle that it's a solid obstacle there and you hit it and it breaks something that never happened before. So unless you saw it, and saw somebody do it, you never would have thought to do it. I knew there was something up with the hole, though, because I'd see on the leaderboard, I'd be laying up and taking a birdie on that because there was no way I could cut it around. And I was like, what the fuck? How are these guys getting this? Love runs out. Okay. I'm not drinking a two mile horn, but that was a nasty fucking shot right there. Oh, that was a nasty hole out. I I'm that that is what this is all about right here. That is the definition of moist. <laughs> that was ridiculous. I'm not going to say I wasn't clenching my cheeks thinking that that ball was going wet. Because I was. But this is where cutting the ball was... I mean, these shots, cut shots, are all you would have had to stick a lot of these shots back then. Okay, that sucks. I'm gonna putt this. I well, chipping this, I know I'm missing, and putt I might miss. That was just bad luck. the tree with the three that's why I hit the three and not the four I wanted to hit that last tree right. 26 on southern I don't think I lose that game We're starting to get this thing loosened up. Well, hello, Steven. How you doing, sir? All right, let's play this Misty Springs against Tim, and then I'll, I might play... Well, that's my boy. That's my neighbor. Jeremiah, what are you doing on Misty? We can't let him have a record. I got to take him down. All right, well, that hurts. We don't have hole one. Now, I got to think, though, can I get this up far enough to have a church? And the chance on this one is no.
Nothing special for the first couple here. One can set up to be drivable sometimes. What the fuck? Dude, how, I did not whiff that ball. That did not read right. That feels like it's a problem, but I'll see. That might cause me to lose the Timmy on this. That... Through three, not gonna cut it. All right, this is rare, but I'm gonna go as deep as possible here because that pin is out of the way of the oak hanging trees. So even if I'm in the rough, I'm fine with it. I feel like I'm still on pace to catch that, to catch the, the worldwide record. As long as not everything is totally shut down on the back nine. misjudged it. That ball's rolling good, though. So the key here is getting onto the fairway down there and staying to the left as far as possible. That's fine. We're good. I don't want to go too close because obviously I'm, I want to hit the eight and a half and the ten and a half can even catch the underhanging trees on the way in. This is pretty easy of a look here. I'm happy about that. But and, and as you can see on a lot of those shots coming in on the approaches, I'm hitting it super soft and playing up two clubs. You don't have to play that way. Uh, well, so back in the day, here's one of the biggest ones that, that I always remember. But Indigo Mound, right? Now, we didn't have tees then. So because of hole eight on Indigo Mound, everybody switched off of the, we all played the Ballistas, which were the low offset. So you had a five wood and a one iron. I mean, you had a four wood and a one iron, right? But that hole, if you look, you needed to have a shot to get over the trees on hole, on uh, hole eight. But if you played the rest of the course, the eight and a half driver was so beneficial back then that you couldn't, that, I mean, the rest of that course was a ton easier with that club and and you could get holes that you couldn't before well so everybody switched off of that to either the high loft clubs so then they had the higher wood and instead i found that i could hit a thumb eight and a half driver right into the tree line and through a certain gap that it would always hit a hit two branches and knock it down dead center of the pin i mean the green so while everyone else switched clubs on the on those courses I got to keep the eight and a half driver, and I had, it, it was a big advantage back then. Not as much now because of tees and balls and yada, 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 but that was a huge advantage. I mean, just going to the next hole after that, hole nine on that course has the little pinwheel and looks like a bullseye target, a fairway. It's a short fairway, and most of the time you needed to get long. Well, when, there were setups that they weren't able to get across because they were having to play the non eight and a half driver. And with me though, having that, it was huge. A lot of the shots that I came up with were just like that though, learning how to hit an obstacle rather than having to try to play everything the way it's intended. 
Now I played a. I didn't mean to cut that, but you lose all your distance on the cut on that. All right, so this is dirt. Let's try a four iron shush here. Now that wind caught it a little bit. Um, another one was on this course, in fact. Remember, no tees and balls. No tees going and no Build-A-Bag. And I keep saying balls, but no tees and no Build-A-Bag is what I meant to say. Uh, and, and 18 of this, this was another choice course that people had to make a choice on because hole 18 is a real pain in the ass. And I came up with a really cool shot on 18 that I can't hit now because I don't carry the club. But I was banging a one iron on 18, and I'll show you how. And I hate to say it, when I played that set of clubs, it probably was much more consistent than I, I am now with a Build-A-Bag. But I don't play this course a ton anymore either, so. When we get to 18, I'll show you. It's a tail friend, she's upset. She's going off about something that you said. Like I do. Seventeen, pretty cake hole. Can be a really terrible setup sometime. Let's just let this go. We're gonna hit it straight. I pushed it a little left because I was scared, but it was straight. I needed to go. So the shot I came up with on eighteen up here. was mind you we didn't have tees so wherever this aimed us we had to come up with a shot for her. so it was either here or here and going through but at this distance i'd be hitting a you got to hit a driver or three wood and you'd bring those trees into play well what i found is on a lot of the setups on this i could just nuke a a, a, a one wood which was a 250 club and bounce it off the rocks on the down low part and it would kick up high enough and come up onto the green. I used that shot quite a bit. Um, the one that got everybody live the first time they saw it was at TOC was the shot, a shot I hit on Coconut 18 to beat Lemon. I hit an A1 with a low T driver into the face of the hill and bounced it up after he laid up and we were tied. So I've had a lot of them. This is an ugly look though. This is not fun. But I got it, he did it. That's gonna hold, I think, we'll see. Cause that, that actually wasn't that easy coming in. Back door. Those are three of the bigger ones that I remember. But I always will play a little bit different than most. A lot of it had to do with power that I had that some people didn't. Hitting A1s repetitively and being able to hit them at 158 and C3s back when they weren't a little bit off like they are now was a huge advantage for me. All right, so that pin's in the back. I'm going to try to get this in position for a church. We'll see if I have the right spot and if, it's, if I'm close enough for how I had to church. All right, is that going to hit the lip? It might, but we're close enough that I can hit the 10 and a half now, though. I, this is like the one setup that I, I, I suck on this hole. Fuck, points are good, man. 
I rarely get one and two anymore on this. I always fuck them both up. But this is having having the three driver bag. This is the one course I play a three driver bag on. Um, but it would have been nice to have a four wood right there. I mean, to have a four iron. And that's another thing that I'm a little different than a lot on. I play my cuts and hit really soft. I find it's easier to get my line that I'm going for right, and it's more consistent to hit at that speed on a cut for me, rather than trying to have to hit something a little hard, and then go, when you go out directionally hitting the ball hard, you find that it doesn't always read exactly where you're aiming to. And that's just because when you're hitting directionally, you're counting on the ball sitting on rollers that with speed and force, it can jump real quick. But I, I bet there's very few players that would have played that setup and thought that the ten and a half was the right club. But when you when you take into account the fact that the harder you hit the ball, the more the spin can play, having that soft cut, I can change trajectories a lot easier than hitting it hard too. And it's just it's those little things that will make differences in people's games. Yeah, see, now, now that goes, Dan, that goes back to me starting playing and playing live, when, when playing live, the four wood was was our high wood. It was, there was no five wood in my bag. So I would more, be more apropos to drop the five wood than the four, but I find those two clubs to be extremely useful to both have. So, I mean, I've got my four wood is like second nature to me. I'm like more comfortable with that than with the five wood. But the five wood is too big to have on a lot of these sets. That extra height that you have compared to the four is actually pretty big. And I use the five as a base of my high T distance calculations a lot. So it's really nice for me to have that then. Okay, I hammered that. No, oh, that's that's just me getting this ball right still. Uh, that the, to me the nine wood and the ten and a half are there too. The three wood the three wood is very similar to the ten and a half though. But the ten and a half's height is almost the same as the three wood. They're really close, but it cuts harder, and that that makes it pretty versatile. Oh, I'm doing great, Paul. Thanks for checking, man. Hopefully, you had a good family family days yesterday. And to me, before the clubs, the before the woods changed this year, the nine, the seven, and the eight, I had to have the nine wood in every bag. I still have it in every bag, but before I could hit that club, I could hit that club at three, I could hit that ball at 260, or I could hit it at 160, which that's crazy. That kind of club gap is unbelievable to have. I don't like this setup. One, two. Honestly, I think I, and now this is where I'm just thinking in my head. I've got a better chance of holding this out from the fairway than A, sticking the green, B, sticking the green to where I don't have a chip. And when I have to chip on this hole, you have to be, there's a lot, you can't take as many risks with the chip because you're coming at it. And if I chip a five iron hard at it, if I miss it, I'm wet. So I'm looking here, like I have a better chance of holding this out from here than having all of those other factors come into play. Now, I'm not gonna say that one wasn't there, but risk to reward was not there for me. I'm looking at the moon. That's what people see. Dancing on my own.
All right, so we're not going to be risk averse on this. We're going to hold out our water. Good. I laid off it enough that I didn't bring water into play. The play is going to play, 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 play. Okay, so that's there, no problem. Is it there? This is the whole, this is the main reason why I carry the three driver bag. I think I have to hit the eight and a half here. But, I mean, just that 10 yard gaps in these make a huge difference on this hole. Got seven outwind downhill. This is there. I might be long though. Nope. But I could have easily left it at the front of the box and hit the nine and a half hard. And that hole doesn't have, the elevation change is pretty big, but not enough that the nine and a half and the eight and a half will play dramatically different. Like generally when you have that big of a drop, the nine and a half will almost go further than the eight and a half when you hammer it. That one there, it doesn't seem to. But there's a lot of shots on Monty. Like look at Monty 18, for example. There are setups where the low T driver goes a shit ton farther than the, than the normal T driver. And that's just because it's in the air longer and has to play the wind more or less. Uh, uh, shake it off. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So your optimum play is always going to be up top. It doesn't matter if you're long or short. Generally, I want to pound this up top and go past all this little stuff. But today, it's going to be a little rough to get it past the little tight area on the fairway. So we're just going to play it back. But with the height change here, it's easier to get this there and stick this close from 300 than it is to stick it from 300 down below. I only have one option on shot I can play from down below. So on Wednesday, while well, you guys were all out partying with friends and drinking and have a good time, I went out and had a nice evening with the wife. And we went and saw House of Gucci. I gotta say, Lady Gaga is an amazing actress and she's gonna be around for a long time, guys. The movie itself was actually pretty entertaining too. I didn't know if I'd like it, but I figured it was a good one to go see with the wife. And I did like it. It was enjoyable. I wanted to go nude at that. All right, we got one more game in us, and then I'm going to call it a night, guys. Mm, but I tell you what, let's go over to the, let's go to our, uh, Let's try let's try an events mode or two and then we'll call it a night. I feel like I'm getting this thing broken in a little bit, so I think we're ready. Yeah, dude, and Dan, you're gonna you, you I don't know your tastes, but it was a hell of a good group of people to watch play. And I'm not a big fan of Adam Oh, don't forget Jared Leto, dude. When you figure out who he is in the movie, you're gonna be like, wow, that's fucking sick. It, it, you're gonna be baffled by it, like I was. And I, this is coming from somebody who never liked Lady Gaga's music at all and thought she could go away. Um, I don't want to see her go away as an actress. She was awesome in the start. Well, we're going to try this with our three driver bag. I mean, our, our uh, part three bag. I didn't change my clubs. I'm just trying to think right now. Am I screwing myself totally? Do I need to... It, 
Is not having a, a real driver going to mess me up here? I think it might, but we'll see. Yeah, it could get me here. No, nope, we're good. I mean, I thought Lady Gaga was fantastic and, oh, God. I got a seven instead of the nine, so that wasn't a thumb shot. But the other thing could play that it helps me because I have my par three bag and I can make a par three easier. Let's see, did I get that? I pushed it, I pushed it right. And I also didn't like Adam Driver before this. He he was really freaking good too. I everything about the movie was very good. Okay, this might screw me though. Let's see if this clears everything around the left. That isn't, that was kind of weird too. Good, I can quit now. Whew. So thumbs up to House of Gucci though. All right, change my clubs back and we're good. It's funny because I didn't set a different default set of clubs. My default bag was set to my three driver or to my uh, standard 2020 bag. I did it for this turn, for this event. And it doesn't hold because I changed clubs on another course. That doesn't make sense to me. So I'm gonna go with my 2020 bag. And it's basic set, but my 2020 bag, I have a nine and a half instead of the eight and a half. As I said, it doesn't really make a difference on this course, but I found that the nine and a half is easier to play on a couple of the holes. Uh, just for the event, I because I want the four iron, Randall. I didn't want, I don't need three drivers. This is the only hole that having the eight and a half would ever really help me on. It doesn't, it's not in play as much as I could ever really care to see. If it's not, if it's that set up, it's going to be hard to get there no matter what club. Quit that one. But I only, Randall, the only three driver bag I, I use on a day-to-day -day course is Tropical. And I don't think that hole is any easier with the, the eight and a half than it is with the nine and a half. Just changes the bounces a bit. Now let's make sure it didn't switch me back as because I didn't finish around. No, I didn't, we're good. I got it. All right. Oh, for the, the, for the third driver, I lose my four iron. Sorry, I didn't answer your question correctly. I think I did on accident, but that wasn't what I meant to say. Oh, uh, Dan, are, are you in the age group of myself and Tim? Because one of the things I hate is playing a game with no tracer. I can't follow the ball on the screen anymore. So we did that we did that contest a couple of weeks back where it was stock balls. And the hardest part about that contest was it wasn't the balls. It was the balls not having a tracer for me. I can't my eyes can't see the goddamn ball. Little embarrassing, but hey, it's age, man. And I think as the graphics got better over the years, you can't I mean bigger bigger pixels changed a lot of it too.
All right, I'm going to thumb the five, but this one's going to be a little touchy. I got to hit this hard enough. You may think that this club's long enough, but it's probably short. And I sprayed it trying to push it harder. But, God, I've noticed that my thumb distances are, are pretty damn big on this ball. So, And this is what I did do differently between this and the last ball is I changed I used a different lube because it's in a little colder in my basement, right? So this this might this spin free stuff that I have, right? This stuff's great, but I I feel like it thickens up and gets more and and loses some viscosity as it gets uh, colder in here. The silicone spray lubricant that I use, it's just a simple silicone spray, seems to stay slicker and spin better no matter what the temperature is. But it doesn't last as long. So during the summer months, I use the spin free. During the winter months, I'll use the other one. You say the less I know. To hold my hand, that's my man. All right, four wood, I mean, nine wood right over the top, backspin. This should be good. I gotta murder this though. Life was a willow and I broke. I grab a water. I'll be right there. Oh. God, I know I'm in pain on certain days. Like, that was hell to bend over just there. Guys, I think I might hit my goal of being down in the 220s for for Dallas. I it, it's crazy. Mm, the more you say, the less I know. Plans, and that's my man. All right, we're backspinning the six. I do not, Randall. Um, and it's just a simple math on it. I, I did that video. You'll see it on the word of mouth page on Facebook. You can find it here by looking. But I did a test of, of the eight, the seven, and the nine. And it's only like a four yard distance difference between them. But the height on the nine wood is so crazy good that it brings, it takes everything out of play. And otherwise, they, they're exactly the same club. It's all, it's, they're too close. Before this year, I always had a seven wood and a nine wood, or some setups I dropped the seven wood for the eight wood just because that extra height was necessary. Now the nine wood, I can do pretty much the same thing as all the other clubs. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Uh, let me see if I can find the link to it. Oh, actually, it might be here. See, I want to search my channel. Ah, okay. Where is... There we go. Yeah, take a look at this. This is a test of all of these. And you'll see uh, Richard did some cool graphics on it, unless that's the live one or the after one. Okay, now here's the problem, Randall. What you're going to notice is the distance marker is the most off on the 9-wood. The 7-wood is right. The eight wood is only a little bit off, but the nine wood's the most off. So if you notice in my, my par three bag, I still have the seven wood for that, right? Because there's very few holes that you're worried about an obstacle on it. And for me, looking and seeing the distance being right and then going and thumbing a shot is easier. 
On this, I just know my distances. Is there a reason for the teardrops on my gut? All right, what do we got? So you do have to learn that distance. That is the one problem with it. Oh, come on! All right, so we got a pin near the back. I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try to run this in with some bite. So he can see. Yes, you have to know your club, right? And playing closest to the pin, like I want it to be as dumbed down as possible, and everything be the same. Now. <laughs> because a lot of the time when I play closest to the pin, if I just fucking block everything else out and go, okay, I need this. I know this. Perfect. Would I be able to get by with the nine? Yeah, but here's the other thing. On closest to the pin, I almost want less height on everything. But I, there's an occasional shot in closest to the pin where you need a little height. All right, this has got a chance of going in. We're going to make this. So like here, if I was thumbing a seven wood and it was showing me the distance marker right at the hole with only a four outwind, I wouldn't be moving this back. I'm worried still that I'm backing this, I'm putting this in the water on a fly. I mean, normally when you th put a ball at 82, you're not getting the club to the distance. It's not landing the distance that it's showing you. And with the nine wood, you're going past the distance. So it's just a little bit of a tidbit that you got to remember. Now, again, what the fuck? I might have gotten some of the, I might have gotten some grease on that ball because I, I laid off of that. That thing went nowhere. Oh, yeah, it is. The eight is the same way, dude. The eight is the same way, but it's less dramatic than the nine is. The nine is more dramatic than the eight. All right, I'm going to play one more, and then I got to call it a night. I was just telling Tickner, my back is screaming at me tonight. That's not feeling very great. But you'll see it. That video really gives a great definition of it. I don't like this setup. I, there's not going to be... I'm going to pull this back. It's rare that I do this on par threes, but... Oh, that's a bad cut. Well, maybe not. Come on, rip hard. Hillbilly. Hillbilly. Go. Ah. I'm going to try, my man. That's the goal. We're getting there. We're going to play Dallas like a champ. Let's get a good score here, though. Let's see if I can get a two better before we end. Yeah, I'm thumbing at 96. That's a good thing. That's really good. I can't imagine this ball's got any problems. I don't have that. I don't thumb that hard very often. Oh, 
Come on, ball. Get in there. <laughs> All right, we got to go around this. That pin's in the back. I'm going to go around it and hit it with release with the nine wood. I didn't think it was going to get to the hole anyway. Yeah. Oh, Sean. Wow. 83 and I was I was flipping that. All right, this ball's going to be great. I just got to get used to it. Come on, hit this one right for once. Indie record that's much cooler than mine. Ah. All right, don't miss this. I don't want to quit on a DNF, but I will. This is going to be my last one. Ah, oh, this is ugly. All right, so this one, I'm going to nuke it, get it up as far as I can. This is going to be shitty second shot. I got a good line. Yeah, at, at this low end range, I'm not getting bursted. Mr. Pritchard, no, not, not particularly happy or unhappy. We're good. We're having a good time. It's going to be the last game of the night. I get to go sit down with the wife. Maybe that's why I'm happy. Go! But the back's yelling at me a little bit right now. <laughs> I'm talking to you, Vince, talking to my friends, talking to me. I'm always happy, Mr. Pritchard. All right, going deep. We're going to have a thumb shot in. We're going to get a whole lot on this one. Unless I totally missed the fairway, we're good. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Getting back together. All right. This is a better look. Straight thumb shot, flip it, 85, this goes in. Here we go. 77 ain't enough. That would have been perfect, too. Oh, that hurts. Had a big reputation. Oh, you don't know about me. Yeah, I'm done. I'm gonna call it a night, guys. I'm calling. Oh, let's shush this in real quick, just for shits and giggles. Oh, too bad. We're gonna give him a free ball, it. There you go. Yeah, but I'm gonna take off. I'm going upstairs. Ah, oh, it's been a pleasure. I hope everybody's still having a good weekend with their families. Get back to it, and we'll see you guys on Monday. We'll get prepped up all next week for Dallas, and then we'll see everybody live and in person in Dallas. I can't wait. I'm excited. Good luck to everybody going for that uh, world spots this week, though. We got some time this weekend to get it. We will see you guys soon, and I love you all. Good night.